so my name is Naeem Albaf. I'm IBM's Distinguished Engineer uh, and Master Inventor. I've been working at IBM for almost 23 plus years. And uh, so I was leading the uh, IBM space efforts for the last three years. You can imagine how challenging it is, right? Just uh, being in the Western part of the world. If you are in the developing countries, it can be almost next to impossible to put something in space. So the idea was, okay, what if we, uh, you know, launch a satellite and give access to kids from all over the world so they can push their code to the uh, in space on this earth? Basically, what we call is edge computing in space. Yes. So they can write their Python code and they'll push it up. They'll submit to our portal. And that's what we did for the last two years with five schools which were selected. And we sent their code to our channels to, uh, to space. So, you know, you can feel a, a bit of a, encouragement right if you're sitting in some remote part of the world that you were able to run your code in space starlink payload continues to be healthy and the falcon 9 team is tracking no issues on the vehicle weather is still looking amazing and you can see the blue skies there on your screen and the range is green for launch So the way it works is uh, you have these uh, dish antennas. The antenna you wish to see at your home, like those for track TV or, you know, used to have those things. It's the same process. In the LEO, you, you, I think you're almost the, your satellite is going through Earth 18 times a day. 18? So, wow. Yeah. It's moving at 17,500 miles per hour. So if you put a dish out there and say cache a signal, you only have a window of eight minutes. That's it. After eight minutes, we'll lose a signal and the next signal might come maybe in a few more hours or 90 minutes, you know, depending upon the, you know, the orbit. So, uh, the way it works is you have these ground stations, very similar to like I mentioned, the, the, uh, for your entertainment channels, the dish, and then you have the satellite in the orbit. Whenever it passes over where your ground station is, it does a handshake and it either uplinks or downlinks the data. Normally it happens because it happens once a day because we don't have that many ground stations. It's like a cellular network, you know, when you're driving, imagine if there was only one antenna for your cellular, okay. you will lose the connection maybe in 10, 15 minutes. But since we have so many towers, you, you never lose the connection. So on the ground, we don't have thousands of ground stations. We only have a few certain locations. So then the next time or the next day when the uh, satellite will pass over their ground station, then you'll be able to do uplink and downlink. T-minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Engines full power. Lift off, Starlink 4 8. Stage separation confirmed. Stage one, leg deploy. 